Hello everybody, and welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Now, I was gonna what? go through the trains last time, but I stumbled across this uh, interesting That's little universe. scene here. I get all that. I thought it was around here somewhere. Just to be thorough. So, ooh, hello. Something is going to push them into attacking us. Tell us. Mm. No. Not unless you push first. It wasn't for Zagira. Johnny, and I might have paid you for this. So there's a detective I must here. Talk to you about what happened. Daria says something, but apparently she doesn't talk to cops. Have you Away found anything? Crimes. Holy <laughs> fuck. Best to be careful. We can't let them get Yo, away with this. Daria, what's up? I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. Are you the cat lady? You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. Um. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Yeah. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing would be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You, you're not a cop, why? Um. Well. I was got once. Old habits die hard. Giant oh, sin. I work with someone else, another agency. No, that's even worse, Jensen. I was a cop once. Old habits die hard. Are in you... America? Yeah, Detroit. It was a long time ago. I bet you have a lot of experience. You're used to this sort of thing. Quite a bit. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? Yeah. God, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He he thinks I saw something. I mean, technically... Did you see something? You should be taken to the police district, then. Or at Maybe. least the building. I think I would rather not say, to be honest, because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? Oh god, it's gonna give me this moral choice. It's natural to be scared. You may think, you may not think much of the police here. I may not think much of them either, but that doesn't mean you should hold back information. <laughs> Frightener. No matter how you be in danger, the killer might see you as a loose end. No, sympathize with the poor girl, Jensen. It's natural to be scared. Then you understand. I don't want to get involved if I don't have to. Sure, I understand. You don't know anyone here. But there's a chance this could happen again. Mm -hmm. The more you're willing to cooperate with the police, the better the odds of catching whoever's responsible. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. You're augmented too. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. Whoa. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. Well, trust me, I will. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Mm -hmm. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? Oh. The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. At least she's on us. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. Mm. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Her freaking head. I'll talk to you about what happened. How come she talks to him and so, not to me? So, here's the deal. If you're lax about this, I'll pop you. If you're not, he didn't think so. we're cool. Let's so, see. Daria was actually talking to you, huh? Mm -hmm. I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? 
Either she saw something or she didn't. Are you really a detective? She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. Excuse me? Scathe. Even cops too much credit for what I've seen, it's never about doing the right thing. There's no reason this should be complicated. If someone gets killed, you need to find the killer, whether the killer was an og or not. Has nothing to do with it. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between you, between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Um, I, I think we're gonna have to relate. Honestly, I would challenge the shit out of him with how he just acted. So. I like challenge way more. No. Nice guy, Jensen prevails. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with uh, those kinds of orders? I did the right thing. I quit. Or that. <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting. But I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forgo any unnecessary investigation. Ugh. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forgo the investigation? <laughs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-BMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scenes right over there and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. All right. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Uh, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? I didn't hit anything, She won't by the talk way. to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. Good. I'll let you know what I find. Alright, I'm okay with you. You're alright. Careful of the evidence. So. I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help as well. Alright. Um, murder. Quick. How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her. Cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. Uh, I mean... I think. Antioch. Okay. So you heard his voice. Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like a general commanding troops. Possibly police or what did he person say exactly? Charge. It is time to make you whole again. Religious. Okay. But uh, witness. What were you doing here? I was looking for Starlight, my cat. There was lightning and suddenly this flash of certainty. She is the cat lady. That's when I knew something awful was happening. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. Oh God, stupid Daria. I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. Oh, well, if you didn't, you know, worse things might have happened. Um... Yeah. Is there anything else I should know about you? You want to know about Daria? Yes. What is there to tell? Third person? Small town girl came to the big city to escape her problems. To try and become someone else. Did it work? Split personality? Not really. 
You can't escape yourself. You can't just come to a big city and expect all your problems to seem smaller. It doesn't work that way. Schizophrenic? Hmm. Uh, about the killer. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest, I saw more of the shadow than the man. I remember he was very big. The shadow, it covered everything. Shadow. So you can't describe him? Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark. Uh, black, maybe blue. Of course he was. Was he augmented? No, of he course not. He moved like an augmented man, but I can't say for sure. Probably on drugs. Alright, police. Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? Well, I have bad memories you? of the police. What kind of memories? Get calls I didn't want. Tickets I didn't deserve. The policemen here are, are worse than children. Former captains of high school sports teams who will never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. Good for you, Jensen. You're a freaking yes, hair. Well, debate is different. Montag. What's your take on Montag? Montag? You ever meet him before tonight? I went to the station once, years ago, to complain about the ticket. Detective Montag is the one they send you to handle the paperwork. How'd he do? He did fine. The point is, he's a desk jockey. Look at him, he's lost out here. The cops who know how to catch killers, they're not the ones sent to investigate murdered ox. Go figure. Alright, you've been very helpful, thank you. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. Alright, now I need to be swift, because this might actually be timed. Um... Whoa. Actually, tra I guess I should. Let's see. Nova Prozica. Angelica Gunn. Press. So she's press. The, the murder victim's ID card. Angelica Gunn was a reporter. Okay. Go away from the crime scene. Oh. Sir. I think you found something. Marks. There are cutting marks above Angelica Gunn's arm. Looks like she had an AUG that was forcibly removed. Yes. It looks like he removed all the augmentations. Anything else? No, just a picture. Okay. Bruises. Strangulation. The bruises on Angelica's neck are re recent. Looks like the killer strangled her and even left a partial fingerprint. Really? Oh, yeah. Furthermore, when I said they should have taken um, Daria to the police station, that's what you do when they, when the person's in shock. You take them to the police station to question them further. You don't let them sit there and look at the body until they answer. That's not how it works. It doesn't get answers. It gets problems. Needle. It doesn't quite look like a needle. It looks like a screwdriver. I guess it does. There was a piece of a broken needle sticking out of Jack the Gun's right shoulder. I guess it is futuristic, so it could be. Nervine agent. Just because Montag crossed Anything them, else? doesn't mean I do. Pretty obvious what happened. Pair of glasses. Looks like part of a pair of glasses. Curious. Um. Her ID card. She doesn't wear glasses. She wouldn't. She would have in the picture if she was. You journalist. Okay. Anything else? No, but she was. Further. There's nothing else to say. Yes. Any other marks? Much. Something? No TV light. Nothing. No. Enjoying yourself, detective. Thoroughly. Um. No, I can't I have handle this. For now. I should... Feels like there's one more item. Otherwise, Jens would probably say something. Who do there they it think is. They are? EMP fragment. Okay, a fragment found near Angelica's body. Looks like it came from an EMP used primarily to disable electronics or people who rely on augmentation. Does it actually disable legs? That'd be interesting. Anything further? She said she was in the shadows. Probably over here. Or over no, she couldn't be over here. She's probably over here. Bad things happen. That no. Okay. Seems like that's it. Oh, exhaust all evidence. They love to tear us apart. Huh? Doesn't it feel like something is about to happen? Huh? What's missing? 
there's something else. Harvesters. Hmm. What's missing? Actually, hold on. Do we actually have six clues? Yeah, we have six clues. We're missing one more. There's one more clue here, right here. The Augment. I read that Augment. Whoever did this didn't seem like too keen to keep it for themselves. They just wanted to separate it from the body. Okay. Also, let me put it on the map. Not that. The Harvester. I don't think he's officially a harvester, like we saw in the uh, tank show. It wants me to go over here. Really? Where does it want me to go? Hmm. Okay, it wants me to go actually Hello. see him. Alright, I wish I could just run there and I'd have to use trains all the time, but oh well. Alright. Alright. Let's do this. Sorry. Oh god. Um, over here. Alright. So we'll do this. Probably do a couple side quests. We might be able to get two side quests in this entire episode. We'll see. Hello, boys and girls. Jensen's around. Now. Right, loading into a place. I forget. I always forget that. Because I would assume the loading would have been done in the train. As that is what loading screens are for, typically. Alright. Jensen, crawl to victory. Force it. Jensen, away. Oh, good. Hope all your paperwork is in order, Og. Of course, officer. Witty remark? Hmm? One moment. Really? Transmitting ID scan? This is a first. Got it. Huh. Everything checks out. You're free to go. That's new. So I ran around Jensen, the area where Jensen's apartment was. And got held up for the ID once more, and he was acting like tough shit. And then he saw the uh, or he saw the ID, and he was like, "I don't want any trouble. Just be on your way." Oh god! This game sometimes it just really likes working, and then it's just like, you know what? I'm gonna take a break. I don't I don't want to work anymore. Uh, this place got more crowded. A lot more crowded. Everything okay here? <laughs> I'm sorry about moving that so close. Um, did I deal? Did I get the code for this one? I feel like I might have. I did not. Is there anything interesting in there? Not really. I mean, look at that. There's nothing really interesting in there. Um, excuse me. I would have left all of these open. I would think. Oh, there's the credit chip. But other than that, what is? I'm more interested in oh, it's a can. Oh, okay. It's a candle holder. I was like really confused by that for a second. I thought it was a uh, lock in the garbage can. All right, so up there. Yeah. Oh, the place with the alcohol and drugs and shit. Okay, yeah, we've been here. Yo. Where are you going? I'm the talk, Johnny. You're Og. Okay. Probably wasn't you then. Did you bring anything to drink? If you bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? Bell Tower. That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? Hmm. Hmm. Can 
dog confronts suspect. I think you know which one, and I think you know exactly why I'm here. Her body was found in the alley. The dead one. The one whose body they found torn apart by some animal. Angela's dead. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Angela's dead. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. They found her body in an alley. I don't think he'll care much. Yeah, but... well, you're not the one to tell me, so... I appreciate your way of trying to break it to me, though. Do you know if she died quick or not? No, I don't. I hope so. Angie didn't deserve to suffer. So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, sitting tight, hmm. being cooperative. Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah, so? Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? I've gone up against them before. I'm familiar with their retirement plan. Looks like they're treating you well, Johnny. Doesn't mean anything. I've just... It's just that I've dealt with the company a while back, that's all. Let's finesse our way through this, Jensen. It doesn't mean anything. It's just that I dealt with the company a while back, that's all. Really? You know, you look familiar. We didn't work together, did we? Did you know Giradelli? Or maybe Powell? I know Powell. No, I doubt I knew them personally. That's too bad. We were all in New South Wales together. I thought maybe you... <laughs> Never mind. And you're all doing fine now. Relatively. Hmm. Australia. You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but... Uh, Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, um. make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. I just saw Alfred you should have known better one. than to join Bell Tower. You sound just like Angie. So easy to judge people on the choices they make. It's not so easy to make good choices yourself. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. Um, Angela. You don't seem too broken up about Angela's death. She was your wife, wasn't she? Ex-wife. We were divorced. Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to explain why you don't care? People die. Whether or not I care is between me and my memories of them. It's got nothing to do with you. Um... You're right, let's keep this about you. You're inside a crowded cell. Your face all over the news, how's that sound? You can still show some respect for the dead, I like that one. What were wrong with your marriage? If you got divorced, then obviously something did. I like Inquire, but I like Reproach a bit more, cause it's... Oh, but Inquire will get me answers. But he might not give me answers. But he might give me answers. What went wrong with your marriage? If you got divorced, then obviously something did. What are you, five? Adults get sick of each other. The ones that don't are just pretending. Lock mm -hmm. any two people in a room, and they'll learn to hate each other sooner or later. It's the most natural thing in the world. But I'm actually surprised. And she held out as long as she did. You know, people say I'm not very easy to like. I you don't say. So Angela left you, and you resented her for it. Resented her? No, that's not who my resentment is directed toward right now. Mm -hmm. You resent me? Because I'm trying to figure out who killed her? Jensen, that was really... Because you're treating me like a suspect. Because you're acting like you care more about her than I do. And mostly because you're the first human being to walk into my apartment and talk to me in almost a year. A year! And this is what we're talking about. I resent the situation. Go on. Anything else you could tell me? Come to mind about Angela. Oh, you've had a hard time adjusting to life after Bell Tower. You've had a hard time adjusting to life after Bell Tower. No more than anyone else. Well, that was eventful. Anything else come to mind about Angela? At night, her hair used to get in my nose and make it itchy. It was annoying, but nice. It made me feel you. Not much does sometimes. 
Um, I don't really want to ask the alibi because he's just going to get very fucking defensive. But I'm gonna. Where were you tonight? I was out killing Angie. Doing <laughs> whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? No, no. What I think doesn't matter. What matters are your answers. Make them clear and honest. Otherwise, you'll make this miserable for yourself. I think you're a legitimate suspect, unless you cooperate with some good answers. I, I think a jury may see it that way too. I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know what happened. That's very honest and very much my answer. I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know what happened. Why? If anyone should want to track down the person who killed her, it should be me. But I choose not to. Case closed. Doesn't still You don't care though. if her killer is caught or not? No, I don't. I don't get off on vengeance. I say, let the bastard stir in his own damn guilt. Guilt is for and those with kill. clear minds. I think they do it to get attention. They want to be caught. They want society to spank them just like their daddies did. Now, the real punishment for something like this is living with what you've done. That's not how it works. Not for Why not? For one, finding this killer will ensure they can't do it again. Two, society has a right to protect itself. And three, where were you tonight? Drinking In my here. Arm. Alone. No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right? You sure you didn't go anywhere tonight? I went to the bathroom. Twice. Stool sample? I'm sure you won't mind if I look around. Whatever you say. Hmm. And I'm probably gonna get some more examine everything type things. Find compelling evidence, of course. Um. You'd steal from me? I'm sorry. Why are you still here? I'll look around some more. Alright, alright. I didn't mean to steal from you. It did say pick up, but that still might have been examine type stuff. Where are you going? Radio, drawer. I've already stolen from you, technically. Medical referral form. Do you miss a gun? Response your question. Can augmented hands twitch? The sensation you're describing are not possible. 2024 was a good year for hands. It's no power. It's no more possible for your knuckles to itch than for your palm to sweat or your fingers to leave prints. Biomechanically speaking, these things cannot happen. Given the model you've been installed, or you have installed, it strikes me that you continue avoiding the greater problem, i.e., that Bell Tower had your augmentated against your will. I'm afraid there's no cr cream I can prescribe for that. Ideally. I would, pref I would refer you to my colleague, Dr. Hellup. If you're interested in speaking to her, let me know. Just keep in mind that your insurance has expired. Dr. Heinrich Roshan. Interesting. Uh, he was born 1994. Nothing else really interesting. Is Republic confidential page one of one? Okay. Hmm. Doesn't really say anything else. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing else? Yeah. What? Watch the TV and shut up. Jeez. No, I can't examine these. Can't examine your bills piling up, or this, or this, or that, or no. Can I examine the microwave by chance? Huh. Let me trip it. Well, this was eventful. Let's see. Before I picked up that, I should have investigated it. This is Eliza Kassar, with the eyes. Um. Nothing else, really. Ebook. That wasn't here before. 
And that definitely wasn't here before. AI by Johnny Gunn for Angie. A I took pleasure in screwing you over. So much senseless time. I took pleasure killing in the quiet was kindness of your kind. My hands are Sunday's best. My brave new feet I only mind. Hmm. Uh, it's very possible that he did it. And that's saying it might be him still. Is there anything else the quest says? Quest says nothing. Uh, I think I may have found enough to such a line on Angie's murder. At least enough to let Mongol know. Wait. What fits and what doesn't. I don't think I really did get enough evidence. Like, what fits so far is he might have killed her. Oh, right. Outfit. I mean, it's dark brown. Coats, gray. Not what I think. Can't examine the coat, though. Huh. Hmm. I mean, half the stuff with AI fit, half the stuff didn't fit. That's the problem. Not enough answers. Just more questions. I'll ask you. Why are you still here? I found a note from your doctor. Yeah. You lost your hands in New South Wales. I got new hands in New South Wales, is the way they sold it to me. Whatever else the killer did to her, Angela was strangled. Right. Fingerprints. Whoever did it left a partial print on her neck. You can't. Which, apparently, you're not capable of. Oh, 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 fingerprints are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. You'll find not having them allows you to be so much more effective. Shut up. They did it so you could kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Mm -hmm. Or, do you still think I killed Angela? <sighs> I am sorry, Mr. Gunn. I'm sorry for what Bell Tower did to you. Don't be. They gave me tools they want me to have. That it was in their interest for me to have. But the decision to use them, that was all me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd very much like to be left alone. Yeah, I guess it wasn't you. Good day, Mr. Gunn. The question is, who is it? Right, the swan place. Oh, I can open these from the outside. Not the inside, but the outside. Right, did I ever get the code for you? I'm more interested in how it might affect my portfolio. So, what do you think? Oh, almost. Alright. Oh, God. Well, I'm happy you're still okay, good sir. I was worried there for a second. So this was the swan place. Have you got any new emails? That's right, there was an email I was supposed to read. I forgot about that. Is it still in there for emails? Um, yeah, Joseph Saban to Eric Simmons. I thought disconnected was the way of the astronauts, not the children of the machine god. I don't understand. This was supposed to work. I cut off my arms for the church, amputated myself from the flesh flawed so I could build for her, for mother. I never meant to disrupt her faith, her, her trust in my faith. She said she needed me and I did believe. I really believed. I think it's time for me to get out of Prague. You need not worry about blocking my messages, Eric. I will not be sending any more. May we find what we seek. Joseph Savant. The user of this address has blocked all incoming messages from your IP. This is a piece of shit. Alright. 
Yeah. So there was also like, um, oh, I don't even remember if I mentioned it a long ago. Anyway, there was a co, there was a paper swan, or a swan. I forgot to open the door. Oh fuck! I don't fucking care. I'm in Maxing too much. In um one of those guys' apartments, the the guy who killed the neon girl. There's a swan in there with the key card to the neon uh, disco party, whatever. Who would even listen huh. to that crap? And like, yeah, there was that way to deal with that. The, the swan, I'm still not sure what's going on with the swan. I'll have to figure that out eventually. But for now, he's not a serious character, but he's a possible character. You look suspicious. You're not. Okay. Hello. I would like to go here. Oh, I've just got all this wonderful waiting out that you guys don't have to deal with. It, it would be very convenient. Alright. Now let's see what Montag has for us. Hopefully he's uh, not hurt Daria. Yeah. Hopefully Daria's not hurt herself. It's possible. I dealt with plenty of crazy cat ladies. Oh god, and my computer is not a fan of it. Alright. I have no time for your bullshit. I have no time for bullshit either. If only these stairs didn't test my patience. Man, you know, if loading screens worked in Deus Ex to load the next area while the screen is active, that would be nice. But they don't, apparently. Oh well. I think my teeth are falling out. Oh yeah, so apparently going from one part of the game to this the next, all the merchants me. reset. To a degree. Hey, hey, yeah. By the way. I told Daria to go home. Oh, thank you. I really don't think she saw anything. Yeah. Um. I think I'm finally ready to show some light on Angela's murder. I do have some questions. Alright, I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. Yeah. He's. He's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. Um... You only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an og and that your boss wants him to go down. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an og and that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can. But unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, okay. or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. All right. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? Cup, because cup. you gave me the impression of being qualified. Yeah. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help and... I'm glad. Between you and me. Because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. His face. Alright. Um... Kind of curious, but yeah, I'm curious. How long have you been a cop? <sighs> Too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? Probably. What do you 20 mean? Twenty years. I mean, being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. I'm glad. This case is a joke to you. I didn't say that. 
I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years. But that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... Just a little rusty. Okay. People hold off. Hold a hell of a grudge against Ogs ever since the incident. People hold a hell of a grudge against Ogs ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well, good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Mm -hmm. Og or no Og. It's not that simple, and you know it. Yeah, okay. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power. Sadly. Um, a reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. Oh, that's actually very true. <sighs> I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. He might be. Fair enough, Mr. Intopol. Um, what is this? Oh, the ammo. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I mean... Yeah, about the fingerprints. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. Probably not. But at least we know the killer left something. And that she was strangled. Huh. A fingerprint. I must have missed that one. Mm -hmm. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. It's not Johnny, though. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing, knew exactly what he wanted. Maybe Johnny wanted something to remember her by. No. Or maybe someone found a dead body and started cutting. There's a lot of scavengers around here. To them, taking an arm is like taking a wallet. I mean, it's... No, it doesn't match. The broken needle is what confuses me. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. Killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Needle, huh? Hmm. In which shoulder? Right. The right shoulder, why? It's probably nothing. I just remember this other cop, Smolinski. He had this theory about a copycat. That's Someone following in the footsteps of an old murderer named um, Svobodka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. Some of the things you've been noticing, I'll be honest, they're starting to sound very familiar. Well, Someone you. like you would probably say it's worth looking into. Very much. And so. how would I do that? Smolinski died in that police station bombing. If any of his files survive, they would have been moved into temp storage. Okay. Across the street from yeah, the bombed out station. Police station. Yeah, Who knows? Maybe Smolinski found something that can shed light on this mess. Okay, well that's helpful. Um. Um. Crime scene. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Hmm. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. Go figure. Um, the EMP fragments. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. The killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Yep. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. With right. all the AUG riots, anti-AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. No, it, it was used on her. I found a press ID, which is hers, which is relevant. I found this press ID on the victim. Unless it's a motive. Story. Okay, enlighten me. We care about this. Why? Angela Gunn was a journalist. Maybe this is work related. Oh. Maybe she uncovered something she wasn't supposed to. Reporter apartment. Maybe. I don't know. 
Oh, damn it. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? Not hers. I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. Possibly, but... They're... Damn you. Damn you. Suspects is irrelevant. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I mean, this is irrelevant. I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Yeah, it's about what I Other figured. than that, I really couldn't tell you. Okay. Um... That doesn't help. I spoke to Daria. She's able to confirm that the suspect is male. Other than that, she's all over the place. I think she's pretty shaken up. Very much so. Yeah, well, can't blame her. I would be too. You seem to have made a good impression, though. Well, thank you. Ever since you got here, she seems different, calmer. <laughs> you know, I met my first wife over a crime scene. Really? Let me give you a very important piece of advice, eh? Never marry the ones you save. Why is that? Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Husband Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Ark or God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. That's so bullshit. No, I'm not done yet. I have what I need for now. I should go. Either see Daria or go to the police me. station. Um, we're right here, so we'll see oh. Daria real quick. Interpol. <sighs> who do they think they are? Fuck that piece of tape. You That's who Interpol thinks they are. I'm not talking to you, so don't talk to me. Hmm. All right, let's see at her house. It should be this one. No, one upstairs. Okay. Hey, you. You here? You're not here. Huh. Hmm. Any new mail? No. Hmm. Irrelevant. This work on anything? No. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Yep, irrelevant. Damn. Can't act right. Interact with that? No, still not. Hmm. And there's nothing else around here. Nope, okay. Alright, well, that was a big old waste of time. Let's go to the police station in, uh, not Rizika. Can't remember what it's called. Yeah, we're not dealing with that yet. No, we'll, we'll go to the police station. Is it in the... Maybe point of interest? Yeah, optional. Alright. We'll do this. And... Go back to him. Should I let the episode run long? I'll let the episode run long. I've got to cut out a bit anyway because the freaking trains. Speaking of the lovely trains. Oh god. Okay, it seems fine. It's already loading the train anyway. See you there. Welcome back, Jensen. Now, let's see if we can sniff out some answers. Hopefully. Ah, right. As well as, uh, deal with people T-posing and standing on top of benches, it would seem. 
Um, good sir. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I would like to turn. 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 There we go. Man, did you hear Lazarus' latest? Hmm. He says the that's an Oh, is that a... No, it's, that's a weird hoodie. It's a very weird hoodie. Ah, oh, hello, police officer. Nice to see you again. Your papers, Og. Mm. Here, enjoy. Twice in one episode. Smart ass. Again with this. ID check BH-847. You're quite the BH. I see. Thanks. You must think you're something special, eh? Get the hell out of here. Oh, quite something special. And you, my Never dear, stay quiet. are irrelevant. I shall see you again. Now, let's see. It should be to the right. No, it's to the left. I thought it was over there. No, it is. It is. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. Downstairs, probably. Case file. Um, let's see. Where would I hide it? If I was going to hide it. Probably this. No? Hmm. Um, not these. Not that. There it is. Harvester copycat victim 4. Mioni Wolf, aka Jasmine, age 31. Association. Club Azimov. Augmented strip club prostitution. Interesting. Strangulation. Aug removed its source. Hmm. Victim gave struggle. Okay. Um, second breath. Recovering alcoholic. Catholic. Cat grooming school. Cat grooming school. Interesting. Crime. Science. Evidence. Traces of EMP. Augmented victim. Augments. Remove. Removal marks. Const consistent. Body discovered in Brzezika. Er, yeah, Brzezika. Strains of fur. Label reports to just black bear. Inconclusive. Partial prints. Left around the throat area. Toxicity report suggests victim was drugged. Same as last year's harvester killing. Prints found in the throat in conjecture with witness testimony. Ultimately led to the capture of the and execution of Merrick Sobotka. Yeah, so Vodka, aka the Harvester, Bureau Directives. I have been instructed to treat the Oni Wolf's murder as an isolated case. The Bureau does not want to fuel speculation that there is a copycat serial killer at work in the area. Investigation into the copycat's angle is to be carried out on a strictly unofficial bias. After months of working these cases, two things have become clear to me. These are copycat killings, our copycat knows things about Slovodka's M.O. and no one outside a very select handful at the Bureau has any right to know. Got a tip about Slovodka being involved in some medical procedure at the prison. We'll follow up soon. Interesting. Anything else? Same as last year's. All the stuff we know. We'll follow up soon. Anything else? Can't. Yeah, I can do this. Wait. There we go. Um, nothing too interesting. Praha. Yeah. Okay. So there's four victims. Hmm. And that's it. I gotta practice for that. Alright. And that was all? Okay. It's not Fade to Black, it's Harvester. And that's the only one left? Music was skipping there for a second. Alright, I guess we just got to uh, confront Montag. 
The game is not liking this though. Jeez. Ooh. I'm probably going from downstairs to upstairs. Alright, we'll go back to Montag and uh, check in with him. Hopefully it's so simple. Alright. I'll just cut to when we actually get to Monte. Let's make it quicker. You just fucked up. You just fucked up. Little shit. Alrighty. Johnson. You're right. joking, right? They didn't talk Someone to you. is targeting Orgs. This one is not the first. Hmm. Hey, Montag, I'm back. So, uh, I want to talk to you. Oh. Enjoying yourself, Detective. Thoroughly. Now, about the case. Um, Let's talk about the case. All right, so talk. Um. Any new information on? No, you don't want to. Okay. All right. I think I'm finally ready to shed some light on Angela Gunn's murder. That's good news. Let's My bosses are eager to know why I haven't arrested Johnny yet. Because he's innocent. Accuse Johnny. Exonerate Johnny. The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. Why do you say that? What about Johnny? Innocent. The more I think about all this, the more I can't shake the feeling. Johnny Gunn killed his wife. Given time, he might have, but not now. It's a copycat. This was the work of a harvester copycat. This isn't some domestic dispute gone horribly wrong. It's part of something bigger. Mm -hmm. Someone's out there pretending to be a dead serial killer. I see you looked into that old case I pointed you to. Yes. The MO is a perfect match. I read the notes and I compared them to this murder. The two victims were killed by the same person. I'm sure of it. All right. Let's say that's true. That doesn't necessarily exclude Johnny. It just means he's killed more than one person. Johnny's innocent. I'm just telling you what I found. No, you're interpreting what you found trying to uh, sway my opinion but if you really want to convince me of something you need to keep talking remember that partial print I found on the victim's throat what about it Johnny Gunn hasn't had fingerprints since the Australian Civil War his hands are made of alloy if he had strangled her he wouldn't have left a smudge yep plus he'd do more damage alloy huh a lot more shit so where does that leave us exactly? We followed the evidence we had. This is where it led us. You mean nowhere? For now. I'm not sure exactly. I think a lot of the pieces are there. They're just not ready to be put together. Not yet. Gotta keep looking. All right. That should be enough for me to get the rope off Johnny's neck. But it doesn't help me solve anything, does it? Hopefully you die I mean, well. unless we learn more, there's no one I can drag in for this. Let's just hope learning more doesn't mean having to meet over another dead body. I hope. That's it. Hey, rookie! Get over here! Interpol. It's time Who to wrap this up. Are? That's it. That is. All right. Oh, well, I didn't even get tonight. to see what he said. All right. Get someone to pick her up. Well, that's probably the end of it. Gary, oh, are you there? Hello. Is that you, neighbor? Are you checking up on me? It's very sweet. Are there any leads? I don't know who killed Angela Gunn, but I do know it wasn't an isolated case. Is that supposed to make me feel better? No, but it's the truth. Just try to be careful. Keep a low profile. Hmm. If anything happens, if you ever think you're in danger, you know how to reach me. Thank you, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Hmm. Well, I don't think she's in her apartment, because if she is, I would have seen her on the map. 
quick check. Nobody in there? Alright. I feel like this quest is going to come back up later on, but for now, it's basically done. Alright, in the next episode, we'll actually do some other quests. Sorry, it was basically just this. I mean, I didn't think it was just going to be that. I thought it would be 20 minutes of that, but, uh, yeah. It took a little longer. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Enjoy the series, or find something to enjoy today. Because I really like this episode, even though it was uh, one quest and really long. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.